In the vast annals of history, there lie buried stories that not only redefine our understanding of the past, but also challenge our perceptions of progress and civilization. The jungles of Bolivia, with their verdant expanses and hidden depths, have long been considered a place of mystery. But few could have anticipated the astonishing revelation that would emerge from its shadows, proving yet again that truth can often be stranger and far more captivating than fiction. Join us on a journey to unveil a civilization lost in time, but by no means forgotten in legacy. Amidst a canopy of lush green, deep in the heart of the jungle where sunlight barely dares to penetrate, lies a long-held mystery of the ages, a testament to the might and wisdom of an ancient people, undisturbed and untouched. This awe-inspiring relic, recently brought to light by modern-day explorers, is none other than the enigmatic Temples of Time. For countless centuries, these magnificent edifices lay silent, their tales and secrets interred with them. It was only an aerial view, an unanticipated glance from the skies that unveiled this wonder to our world. Now, a surge of scientists, archaeologists and thrill-seekers from every corner of the globe are drawn like moths to a flame, keen to unearth the treasures that lie beneath. Harnessing advanced light detection and ranging technology, researchers stumbled upon a monumental civilization nestled within the Llanos de Mojos of the Bolivian Amazon. This ancient society, known as the Casarabe, meticulously sculpted intricate structures between 500 and 1400 AD. Their legacy, soaring ceremonial edifices, defensive moats, and an intricate weave of roads and checkpoints, spanning a massive 1,700 square miles. These cities were linked by a sprawling 600 miles of canals, elevated pathways, and an ingenious reservoir system designed to water their crops. And here's the kicker. This grand revelation obliterates our previous notions that the Amazon was a scarcely populated, untouched haven prior to the Spanish explorer's footsteps. This new insight proposes that delving into the annals of these societies might unravel methods on how expansive agricultural civilizations could coexist with nature, nourishing it rather than depleting it. If you're engrossed by this tale and are craving for more such historical dives, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. The pyramid-like constructs of this lost civilization are nothing less than masterpieces Rising majestically above the trees, their construction precision is baffling. Erected millennia ago, their impeccable design and finesse challenge the idea of Creation Sans contemporary tools. These were a people unparalleled, their architectural and engineering prowess contesting the accomplishments of other renowned ancient societies. Their profound comprehension of nature, the cosmos, complex mathematics, and celestial bodies paints a picture of a society that wasn't just advanced, but perhaps visionary. These temples of time, as I like to call them, offer us more than just a glimpse into a bygone era of brilliance. They question our understanding of history, making us ponder our own significance in this vast tapestry of existence. As researchers dig deeper, unveiling layer after layer of this concealed world, the temples will indubitably etch their mark as one of the groundbreaking revelations of our age. Imagine for a moment the sounds of this ancient metropolis, the murmur of bustling markets, rituals performed under moonlight, children playing along the canals, and the distant echo of leaders discussing the welfare of their vast domain. The Kasarabe were not just builders, they were visionaries, with a socio-political structure that promoted progress and growth. The question that arises, naturally, is how did such a sophisticated society come to exist in what we've presumed to be an inhospitable environment? Evidence suggests that the Kasarabe had a profound knowledge of botany and zoology. They domesticated wild crops, creating varieties that yielded more food, and devised sustainable hunting methods to prevent over-exploitation. 
their lives, deeply intertwined with the rhythm of the jungle, resonated with the melodies of nature. But these temples and their enigmatic stories lead us to yet another puzzling wonder, their art and culture. Discoveries indicate that the Kasarabi had a rich tradition of storytelling, dance and music. Wall carvings depict a people celebrating life, their deities and their conquests. There are scenes of the cosmos, perhaps early astronomical calculations, hinting at their obsession with the vast universe and their place in it. Could it be that their understanding of the stars was not just for agricultural purposes, but also for deeper spiritual insights? Their beliefs, as speculated by many historians, might have centered on the idea of life, death, and rebirth, much like the jungle that surrounded them. Every sunset followed by a sunrise, every end met with a new beginning. This cyclical view of existence possibly drove them to build these temples, not just as places of worship, but as monuments to time itself. Furthermore, their technological advancements weren't limited to construction. The Kasarabe may have been pioneers in early medicine, utilizing the vast biodiversity of the Amazon for healing and perhaps even surgical procedures. This was a society that didn't just survive the challenges of their environment, but thrived and evolved. Yet, like many ancient civilizations, the Kasarabe fell into obscurity. What caused their decline? Was it internal strife, climate change, or an external threat? The answers are yet to be fully uncovered. But the lessons from their rise and fall resonate even today reminding us of the fragility and resilience of human existence. In our journey to unearth the past, the Kasarabe and their temples of time stand as both a testament and a warning, a testament to human innovation and adaptability, and a warning of the impermanence of even the most formidable empires. One cannot help but marvel at the pristine condition of many of these structures. Despite the onslaught of time, the ravages of weather and the encroaching jungle, the temples of time appear almost defiant in their elegance. Artifacts found within these temples reveal more about the Kasarabi's daily life. Ornate pottery, decorated with intricate patterns and symbols, offers hints of a complex language and a sophisticated means of communication. Jewelry made from local precious stones and metals indicates trade with neighboring tribes and perhaps even distant civilizations. But beyond the tangible, the Kasarabe left behind intangible legacies. Folklore passed down through local tribes speaks of a wise and just people who held festivals at the zenith of each season, worshiping deities that embodied natural elements like the sun, moon, rain and earth. Legends tell of a formidable Kasarabe warrior who united warring factions, creating an era of peace and prosperity. These stories, though embellished over time, root the Kasarabe deep within the cultural consciousness of the region. The intricate canal system suggests a level of community cooperation that modern societies could learn from. The Kasarabe didn't just control water, they revered it. Water was life, a force that sustained their crops, nourished their bodies and connected their cities. The network of canals, which many scholars compare to the likes of ancient Rome, was more than just infrastructure. It was a symbol of unity, bridging distant parts of their empire. The discovery of these ruins also brings to light the symbiotic relationship the Kasarabi had with their environment. While they reaped the bounty of the land, they also gave back, practicing early forms of agroforestry and sustainable farming. Evidence suggests that they enriched the soil using biochar, a form of charcoal that not only enhances fertility, but also locks away carbon, a practice that is heralded today for its environmental benefits. The Kasarabe's fall like that of many ancient civilizations, serves as a stark reminder of the transience of empires. 
but it's not the fall that should define them. It's their remarkable achievements during their prime. They showcase the triumphs of humanity, ambition, cooperation, and innovation. In the shadow of their monumental temples, one can almost feel the pulse of a thriving city, hear the whispers of secrets long buried, and understand the aspirations of a people reaching for the stars. The role of modern-day explorers and archaeologists in this tale cannot be understated. Their relentless pursuit of knowledge, driven by a mixture of curiosity and respect for the past, ensures that stories like that of the Kasarabe are not lost to the sands of time. As we explore further, we can only anticipate more revelations, painting a fuller picture of a civilization that, for all its glory, was once forgotten. In conclusion, the story of the Kasarabe and their majestic temples of time compels us to look back, even as we move forward. It reminds us of the indomitable human spirit, the timeless dance between nature and nurture, and the eternal quest for knowledge and understanding. In their rise, brilliance and eventual decline, the Kasarabi mirror the very essence of humanity, urging us to learn, reflect and above all, remember. If this journey through time has captivated you, do remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Historical Highway for more enlightening tales from our past.